What's up filmmakers? My name is Justin Romine and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple HUD or heads up display in After Effects. Now first off, to make this effect look seamless, you will have to make sure you or your subject's acting is on point. Since the display is not actually there, you have to really pretend that it is there. The best way I've found to create this effect is to make it fully in After Effects and then export it as an MP4 file to use in Premiere Pro which I'm assuming is what you do most of your editing in. I tried making it in Premiere Pro and it was too hard. Before you get to creating this effect, you need to have the screen recording or images you want to use. I did this by taking screen grabs of my YouTube page, keeping the height and width fairly consistent. Once you have all the footage or photos that you need, create a new composition in After Effects and import your assets. Drag and drop the video file of you acting on your composition. Next, we are going to create the screen without worrying about where it's positioned. In this case, I made it just smaller than the composition's dimensions. Now is the tough part. Use keyframe animation to line up the swiping or scrolling with your actions in the video. After you're done, make sure you enable motion blur and select all of your keyframes, then hold down Function F9 on a Mac to easy ease your keyframe animation. Next, we're going to create the simulated edges of the screen. Right click New, Solid, and make it Black Solid. Make sure it is right above the layer you want to mask. If you have multiple screen layers, you'll need to do this for each layer. Adjust the dimensions of the solid to be a tad bigger than the screen box. To make the black solid go away, create a mask by selecting the screen layer and go to the top and select Layer, Track Mat, Alpha Mat. Now we are going to make the screen look futuristic. Do these steps for each screen layer you have. Number one, drop the opacity down to 55%. Number two, add tint correction. Number three, map the black to baby blue and map the white to white. Set the tint amount to 74%. Now feel free to play around with these settings to make it look how you want it to look. Finally, select all the layers for the heads up display and right click pre-compose. This will group all those layers into its own composition, just like nesting in Premiere Pro. After that, all we have to do is change the orientation of the screen to make it match what it looks like it should be for the video. Go to the Effects and Presets tab and type in Basic 3D. Drag and drop that preset on the pre-comp that we made of the screen. Now using the swivel and tilt and distance to image, rotate and tilt the screen to have the 3D orientation that makes the most sense for your acting. If you want to take it a step further, add a camera lens blur effect and drop shadow effect to really make your heads up display come to life. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want, snoop around my channel a bit and check out some of my other filmmaking tutorials. If you have any suggestions for a video, drop me a comment down below. And that's it for me. We will catch you filmmakers in the next video.